Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C-square. In this example we have a circle, circle O, and we need to find the measure of angle DFC first, which is this angle right here. And if you notice that angle, angle DFC and angle uh, CFE, they form a line. So they are what we call a linear pair, and they are supplementary. So basically, if you take a look, angle CFE, the height measure of angle CFE is 70 degrees. So we can find the measure of angles DFC now, just by subtracting 70 from 180, and um, the measure of angle DFC will be 110 degrees. Uh, then we have to find the measure of arc AD, which is this arc right here. And for that reason, we need to find either angle C or angle E. These two angles are congruent. They have the same inscribed uh, arc. That's what I put down here. Uh, uh, so they are congruent. And if we find any of these angles, then we double uh, the measure of the angle and we have the arc the measure of the arc ad for that reason um, we're gonna look to this arc which is 80 degrees and that will allow us to find the measure of this angle for example or this angle well let's do angle d the measure of angle d will be half of its intercept arc which is ce and that will be 80 divided by 2, that will be 40 degrees. So uh, this angle here is 40 degrees. And you remember we did DFC, this is 110. So we can go in triangle uh, DFC, triangle DFC. And we know the sum of the interior angle of a triangle is 180. So the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle DFC plus the measure of angle C the one we need to find out is 180 and like I said angle D we found out that is 40 degree DFC we, we also know it it's 110 plus measure of angle C equals 180 so we have here 150 plus the measure of angle C equals 180. That means the measure of angle C is 30 degrees. So, like I said before, now we can find the measure of arc AD uh, the, uh, because the measure of angle C is, of angle C, is half of the measure of arc AD. And angle C is 30 degrees. So the only thing we need to do to find the measure of arc AD is just multiply by 2 these 30 degrees. And the measure of arc AD will be 60 degrees. Now we can move to the next part where we are asked to find out the sum of the measure of arcs DC and AE. And uh, let me go back to the picture. You notice this is 80 degrees. Uh, this arc AD, it's 60 degrees we found out. So the sum of the measure of these two arcs, this arc DC and AE, can be found using this relation, the measure of the arc AD plus the measure of the arc DC plus the measure of the arc EC plus the measure of the arc EA. So if we add these four arc, arcs, we get the whole circle, which is 360 degrees. And AD is 60 degrees. Uh, and 
the EC or CE it's 80 degrees and the last thing we can do we have to do is to combine the 60 and 80 that will be 140 degrees plus the measure of arc DC plus the measure of arc EA equals 360 degrees so the last thing is to subtract 140 and we have the measure of the sum of the measure of RTC and EA that will be 360 minus 140 that will be 220 degrees and that's it for the third part and the last part they ask us what is the relationship between the triangle DFC and AFE? Triangle AFE and triangle, and now you want to be sure you have the corresponding letter. So A goes of D, uh, F goes of F, and um, E goes of C. So these two triangles are similar. Why? Because you notice we have these two pair of angles congruent. And in fact, we have all three. If you want to look, these are vertical angles. So based on angle, angle similarity, these triangles are similar. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.